On vehicles with an electric mechanical parking brake system, or EPB for short, electric motors operated by a control module are used to set and release the parking brake. When it comes time to do rear brakes on a vehicle with the EPB system, a dealer level scan tool like VCDS is used to retract and reset the parking brake mechanism. Please read over the following. Do not perform these basic settings when the brakes are disassembled. Opening and closing function tests and otherwise cycling electronic parking brakes should only be done with the pads and calipers properly installed on the rotors. Please follow the procedures exactly. There's a reason for every step. If you skip any prerequisites or other steps here, you're likely to experience issues which no documented resolution exists, in which case we will not be able to help you resolve them. It's strongly recommended to run a full auto scan first thing to check for any pre existing faults. There have been several reports of repair shops damaging the electronic parking brake system when trying to do rear brakes from not telling the customer sending the car out the door. Yes, a single take. Step one get a battery charger. If you ignore this step, this is what can happen. Customers are not going to pay for this. This what? is the second fucking time. Is that all you got to say? What else can I say? Why don't you fucking learn how to do this for a change? A battery charger is very important. The EPB module is sensitive to low voltage conditions. It is critical that a battery charger is properly connected and used for the duration of the rear brake job. On some vehicles with battery management systems, you do not connect a battery charger directly to the battery. Please see the owner's manual for details on how to properly hook up a battery charger. Man, I learned my lesson. <sighs> there are two types of EPB modules, non-UDS and UDS. The different types of EPB modules use different procedures to do the rear brake service. Set and then release the parking brakes. With VCDS, click on Select, then 53 Parking Brake. Once the open controller screen loads up, go into Basic Settings, Function 04. Did you hook up the battery charger? Click OK. Type in for Group 007 and then click on Go. The parking brake motors will now operate. Note that the brake piston is not moving. Once the process is complete, the status of the basic settings at the top of the screen will switch from off to on. Now wait 30 seconds before exiting out of basic settings. Some EPB modules have a firmware glitch in them. If a scan tool is used to operate the parking brakes and you exit out of basic settings as soon as the motors stop, the EPB module could fail. After 30 seconds, click on Done, Go Back, then click on Close Controller, Go Back. Now turn the ignition off. The piston will push in just like a front caliper. It is now safe to remove the calipers and perform the brake service. With the rear brakes fully assembled, pump up the brake pedal. Turn the ignition on. With VCDS, click on Select, then 53 Parking Brake. Once the open controller screen loads up, go into Basic Settings, Function 04. Did you leave the battery charger hooked up? Click OK. Type in for Group 006 and then click on Go. The EPB module will close up the parking brake mechanism. Once the process is complete, the status of the basic settings at the top of the screen will switch from off to on. Wait 30 seconds before exiting out of basic settings. After 30 seconds, click Done, Go Back. Now check and verify there are no fault codes. Exit out of the control module and test the function of the parking brakes. The Audi A8 can use the EPB module to calculate rear brake pad thickness. When the rear brake pads get worn, a warning on the instrument cluster will appear and the EPB module will have fault code 02596 rear brake pads worn. You must do an adaptation to let the EPB module know what the thickness of the new rear brake pads are and perform a function test. Measure the thickness of the friction material on the rear brake pads in millimeters and make a note of it. In the parking brake control module, go into Adaptation, Function 10. Type in for channel 06 and click on Read. 
set the new value to the current pad thickness to the nearest millimeter. Click on Test, Save, and Confirm Yes. Click Done, Go Back. For the function test, go back into Basic Settings, Function 04. Got the battery charger hooked up? Click OK. Group 010 and click on Go. The EPB module will cycle the parking brake several times during this test. Once it stops, wait 30 seconds before exiting out of basic settings. You should now be able to clear out the 02596 rear brake pads worn. With some of the earlier Audi A8s, it may take a few adaptation and function test tries before the code can be cleared out and the pad thickness warning on the instrument cluster will go away. Now let's look at the UDS version. The prerequisites are the same as the non-UDS versions, but the basic setting steps are different. Set and then release the parking brake. With VCDS, click on Select, then 53 parking brake. Once the open controller screen loads up, go into basic settings, function 04. Did you hook up the battery charger? Click OK. From the drop down menu, select start lining change mode and then click on go. The parking brake motors will now operate. Once finished correctly is displayed, click on stop, then done go back. Close controller go back 06. Now turn the ignition off. The piston will push in just like a front brake caliper. It is now safe to remove the calipers and perform the brake service. With the rear brakes fully assembled, pump up the brake pedal. Turn the ignition on. With VCDS, click on Select, then 53 Parking Brake. Once the open controller screen loads up, go into Basic Settings, Function 04. Did you leave the battery charger hooked up? Click OK. From the drop-down menu, select In Lining Change Mode. Click on Go. The EPB module will close up the parking brake mechanism. Once finished correctly is displayed, click on Stop, then Done Go Back, Close controller, go back 06. Now test the operation of the parking brakes. Verify they set and release and there are no parking brake warnings when the parking brakes are released. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, actually. <laughs>